Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Friday, a can market the news update. Deal decisively, ruthlessly with those perpetrating insecurity in the southeast. The governors from the region charges security officers. Now the governors from the southeast region have gathered in Enugu Thursday to deliberate on the issue of insecurity in the region. According to them, that they are deliberating on the issue of insecurity. And they told the security officers in the southeast after their, their deliberations that they should do, deal decisively, ruthlessly, those people who are perpetuating insecurity, their sponsors, they should deal with them. The governors of Imo, Anambra, Enugu, Abia, and the Bonny State were in attendance live. They were out there. So I think uh, this issue of uh, sit at home, the lockdown, has made them to gather together once again. These men have refused Hitatu to come together as governors from a particular zone. Of course, you know that other governors from other regions, like the South South, the North East, the South West, the North Central, even the North West. They do gather and do their meetings. You have Northern Governors Forum, that one is there. Stand by. Northern 19 Northern States, they have their governors and their forum is there. But in the case of South East, nobody's doing anything. This issue of this block meetings for these uh, regions, they are for development, economic development. But the governors of the South East have refused to come together to develop the region because they are looting the resources of their people. Yes, they are pursuing their personal interest. Each of them want to become this, I want to become that, against the other. They want to attweet each other in amassing wealth for their generations unborn. That's what they have been doing. That's why the governor of the former governor of Ebony State, David Omai, when he was the chairman of Governors Forum in the Southeast, the, 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 the forum died naturally because he was pursuing his own game. Saludo was pursuing his own game. Ozodema was pursuing his own game. All of them want to become relevant and amass more money for their generations unborn. And so, this time around, the city at home that is meant to bring out Mazdan Kano from detention for Sanisi, that's all. That's what the city at home has been going on. It is giving them concern. Sleepless night. As we are speaking, Sons are on their bed, they can't sleep because of the sit at home. Yes. So they have gathered once again in Enugu, government has Enugu. And what they could discuss is security, deal decisively, deal ruthlessly. The sponsors of insecurity. In the first instance, what is insecurity? Who brought the insecurity? The people you were asking to deal decisively were the Insecurity, those perpetuating insecurity and their sponsors are those people who brought the insecurity. That's the irony there. They sat his governor's gift. Because they brought in the, the insecurity to those men, the men in uniform. They brought the insecurity because they are chasing the IPOB members. They are chasing the Biafrans for committing what crime, what offense, for agitating for referendum for freedom that's all and so they said let me quote a part of the statement their chairman also them said let me quote part of the statement i quote we wish to state categorically that the perpetrators of the insecurity in our region and their sponsors are criminals and should not be seen as legitimate agitators therefore upon arrest they should be dealt with in accordance with the laws of the land. The forum resolved to hold the security and economic summit on a date to be announced soon. End of quote. So this is what the Alex Oti, Chuku Masoludo, Francis Wefu, Peter Mba, and those of them deliberated upon in Enugu in their meeting. Today decisively, with those perpetuating insecurity. They said they are not genuine agitators. 
So you know that there are genuine agitators, agitators. So what have you done about that one? We are asking the governors. Since you know that there are genuine agitators, agitators, because you have agreed now, that you know that there are genuine agitators, what have you done about that one? Have you called them to the table to have discussion? Since they are genuine agitators, you have acknowledged that and we appreciate that. So what is being done in that area? We're talking about those who are not genuine agitators. Of course, wherever there is original, there must be a fake. So it's not a big deal to say there are no genuine agitators. Yes, there are no genuine that We know that one because before you talk of original, there must be a fake. Before you talk of fake, there must be original. So that is how life is. But talking about those genuine ones, what have you done about it? Have you discussed with them? Have you asked them what the problem is? Other than using the army to cause insecurity in the region. And you now you want to fight insecurity. Okay? You just use your hand and swallowed the seeds of Odara. And now you are struggling to excrete, excrete it out. That is what the governors are doing. They put it into their mouth. And they are forcing themselves to, you know, put it away. Okay? And they are saying, insecurity, they are fighting security. They want to go and get more money from the federal government and come back and share and uh, do a security vote. By, we saw the government of Enugu State sharing vehicle to policemen. Is that saying security? Is that how to fight insecurity? You know those people who are coming to the eastern Nigeria, those who say they are army, they are troops. Of course, you know that majority of them are full of terrorists. They say they have repented from the terrorism they are doing. And the government en enlisted them or recruited them to the army. And they are coming here for genocide because they have this hatred. They have all this hatred. They have this innate hate against the people of the zone. What happened during the 1966, 1967, 1970, all these things, they are still having it in their mind. They have not forget for you know forget for, they have not you know in any way forgotten any one of them. They have not forgot. They still have it within them. Yes, their political leaders are still telling them, do not forget it. How about it? And when they come here, yeah. oh, they unleash mayhem on the people. So the army will not stop in security. The army, army, army will only exacerbate it. And they can't, why are you bringing the army here? To do what? So they are causing the insecurity here. They are causing, the, there's no war here. There's no uprising. There's no insurrection. Why are you bringing the army? People are male agitating. And you say you are fighting insecurity. Who brought the insecurity? What are you fighting? Okay? You people who just making movement or making motion with that movement. That's what the governments are doing. They cause this thing and they are seeking for ways to, to resolve it. If you want to resolve it, send the army away first. Let me give you a clue of what you have to do. Since you are confused. You brought the insecurity and now you are confused on how to solve it. So send the army away. If you know the general agitators, you have, like we have said, you know the general agitators, they are there. Call the agitators, the genuine agitators you are saying. Okay? Call them. Let us know those who you are calling genuine agitators. Let us know them first. All right? Genuine agitators. You know they are genuine agitators all the while. Have you deliberated? So what we are saying is this. Sad is governance. You have not done anything towards the ending of the insecurity you brought. You just stayed and uh, convoked yourselves to go to Abuja.